Okay, so you mentioned uh, the use of Docker and Docker Compose with EZM MOS. Um, what uh, are the prerequisites for getting started with it and what sort of technologies might people need to be familiar with? Okay, so EZM MOS has been designed so that the containers themselves are as flexible and as portable as possible. They're effectively microservices. So yes, the actual containers can be used on Windows, they can be used on Linux, they can be used on ARM hardware, they can be used on um, x86, x86 hardware. They're very flexible. But the easy NMOS solution itself has been really designed to try and get something up very, very quickly and simply. So because of that, um, what we've done is we've tested a specific um, set of environments. So what I recommend that people use is they go and get the latest version of Ubuntu. We've tested Ubuntu 18.04 and um, 20.04, which are the two latest um, LTS releases with EZMOS. So go and start with that. That's your base operating system. And then on top of that, go and install the respective um, implementations of Docker and Docker Compose. So if you use the install script that is packaged with the easy NMOS implementation, that will take um, most of that pain away. It will install the right versions of Docker and the right versions of Docker Compose and hopefully really speed up the implementation. So once you have those two things, or actually three things, so Ubuntu, Docker and Docker Compose, you should have all of the prerequisites needed to simply launch easy and muscle.